Hello, Shelley Fischel here from Tomorrow's VA. This tip is all about styling your pictures. Now we've added a picture, I've added this picture of my warm coffee scene, because I love coffee, into my slide. And once I click on it, I get the Picture Tools Format ribbon appear. Now I have the option of doing all sorts of things to my picture. I'm going to focus firstly on the picture styles. So I can add a frame, uh, make it stand out, change its shape, really make go to town on it. That's quite a nice one, like a postcard. From here I can also change the border. I can pick one of the colours from my theme and I can add picture effects, shadows and glows. Let's go for a glow, let's go for that one. So I've got all sorts of things that I can do to enhance my image. If I come back to start at the left hand part of my ribbon, I can remove background and I can choose um, to mark my picture. So I've, uh, I've maybe I want to keep what I want to keep. So I will mark areas to keep. I'm going to try and keep the coffee cup and keep the changes and you'll see that it's just kept part of my image. I'm not going to keep that. I don't really like what I did, so I'm just going to pop it back and add its border back. It's so really simple. Other things that I can do are picture corrections where I can change the, the way it looks. I can sharpen, sharpen and soften it. I can change the contrast. Um, I've got quite a lot of options I can do there. Uh, I don't profess to be an expert on pictures, so I'm going to take it back to how it started. I can change the colour. So if you're creating a presentation and you want everything to look very uniform and, and follow the same colour scheme, then you can wash it with, a t you can change the saturation, you can change the colour tone, make it even warmer, um, or you could actually even choose to change the colour altogether. So we can just wash it out in the nice green. Uh, again, we can undo that and take it back to how it was. We have artistic effects, so we can make it look really odd, um, like a light screen. We can make it look like a mosaic. There's all sorts of things that you can do. One of the really important things that you should think about when you add images to your presentations is compress them. Pictures are typically quite large unless you've resized them in some other package beforehand. So I'm going to choose to compress this picture. I can choose to apply this compression just to this picture. If I uncheck that, it would apply to any other pictures in my presentation. And then I get to choose, um, I'm going to choose the email option, which is the only option I'm given here and delete cropped areas. So if I crop my picture, I want to get rid of the bits because that will just inflate my file. And we won't see any difference here. Um, what we would see is in the file size. If I undo that, if I save this presentation, we don't have a size because it's not been saved. So if I save it, I'm just going to pop it, um, I'm going to stick it on the desktop for the moment and save it there. So now when I go to the file option here, we can see that it's 4.05 megabytes. If I compress my picture and delete any cropped areas and then resave the presentation, we can see that it's gone down to one and a half megabytes. So it's a really good thing to do and to make sure that you resize all your pictures you will often be offered the other resolutions depending on the picture you've chosen to start from. So for more tips like this and to find out how to use Microsoft Office in your VA business, head over to www.tomorrowsva.com where you can sign up to our email list and get loads more tips like this one and also get access to our brilliant online training. Look forward to seeing you over there.